You think you know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. When you sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was? Before I was me, I was you. you. Man score, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited about today's show. Nice. Harry, what's going on, brother? You ready to rock and roll? Oh, I'm having a good time, even though I'm having a tough time keeping these alligators down. It is. You know, pimping ain't easy. It gets not, easier when you practice, though. It Whoever is said it was is lying. It's lying. Dre, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, uh, Dre's high already. Yeah. Jesus. Dre was, oh, Dre was, my God. Dre is getting high. He has a miniature Goodyear blimp that he fills up with uh, weed smoke and then puts his don't, mouth on the end of it. Don't hate. He got Joyful. a new button. Okay. He got a new. Yo, fuck this. Let me bring my guest in. This is my special guest, my dude, my man, my motherfucker. One of the funniest motherfuckers in the motherfucking game. Yo, uh, listen, listen. Yo, give it up I for my it. boy Dan Soda, y'all. Give it up for Dan, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I love every moment. My background looks like I'm in a fucking, uh, like a safe house. Yeah. You Witness do. protection. <laughs> yeah. You look like you're fucking in Harry's house. Yeah. He's like, you don't know where I am right yeah. now. I'm comfortably outside of New York City. Are you yeah, in the you, Ecuadorian embassy in London waiting for to be exonerated? I have files. I was transferred them to WikiLeaks, WikiLeaks where by the time they found me, I had already left the country. So now I live here. <laughs> I live in this. Yeah, dude, that's when you have to live in an embassy. That's kind of yeah. fucking suck, dude. <laughs> you can't go outside because you're like, they're going to fucking grab me if I go outside. Your place looks, looks like you would peek outside and instead of saying this capture would be by any means necessary, you'd be like, mm, no, nah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> nope, I'm not, not doing, doing it at all. <laughs> Ain't happening. Sorry. I mean, but he did. Man, what's it. going on? How you Hang been, on. brother? I've been all right, man. How about you guys? How you guys doing? Good. Pretty Everything's good, good, man. Yeah. You know, you smoking on air now, dummy? Yeah, let's do I, it, dude. Dante, you never smoked on the show? Always, but uh, you I get think. crazy. Whoa. But you get crazy, son. I am you crazy. Get... When uh, this is the state, the same. I've always been. Uh, what Andre Look is saying this. is that he's never had a level of excellence to maintain, so he's not doing anything wrong by just being. Exactly, yeah. Batman. Explain more. <laughs> look at look at Dan is just getting it, getting it in. Got a big glass bar. It was the open call. I felt like I was. Uh, I felt Dan, like. Dan, go ahead. It's fine. You'll be fine. Thank you, thank you, Andre, for opening that door. <laughs> thank you for being the Roberto Clemente for us. <laughs> <laughs> the Willie Mays. Yeah, the I appreciate you. You, oh, thank you, thank you. Black here. Here. The Jackie Robinson of smoking weed. Yeah. Oh good man, what's like? I'm sorry, Dan. No, I was gonna say it's good to see you guys. I haven't seen. Yeah, you. man. How you I been? See, you well, we no talk, we saw. I saw you a little bit with the. We did bonfire real quick. Yeah, it's, it's weird, man. These Zoom shows are like the hangouts. This is how you see people yeah. now. You don't you don't run into people at comedy clubs or at shows yeah. anymore. Now it's like you get a link and you click it and you see your friends. Yeah, oh, really? that's it. You just click on it and be like, "Yo, what's up, man? You look good." Fucking, yeah. we just—I just saw Richie Redding on Race Wars, and he's—he's he's growing a mullet. So I don't that's know what's going. <laughs> he's growing a mullet good. with that's the shaved name, side, though. with the shaved side and the parts. That fits him. A he's, man named Richie Redding should have a mullet. Yeah, dude. Richie Redding sounds like he soups up. It sounds like a nigga with a mullet. 
Yeah, <laughs> he sounds like he does like some outlaw shit with like uh, water sport things, like boats. Where you're like, so hey, he Richie gets Redding? AIDS. He gets AIDS medicine illegally. <laughs> you go. You're talking about Richie Redding, the water moccasin. This guy yep. really says weird out. shit. Like we only catch the fish that. Okay, Andre, be I know you're high. Stop talking yeah. over everybody. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go with this. <laughs> Here we go with this. Here we go. You do We're this every to... time you get high. Pay attention. You know what, though? Ah, in Andre's defense, this. to take the weed team defense, uh, mm-hmm. Zoom is ripe for stepping all over each other. I don't really? think. Really? Why, why do you say that? Because I think I don't think there's been an episode of Bonfire where Jay and I aren't in each other's back pockets on every fucking the whole time. Huh? Yeah. Because you because then you know what it is. It's the awkwardness of letting it sit. Watch everyone be quiet for a second. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. That sucked. That sucked. Yeah. Let's never do that again. <laughs> no, it's, it's just that he uh, Andre gets high and then he and then he steps all over my guests. That's the problem. I don't mind if he steps all over me, but I don't yeah. want him to step all over you. You know what I mean? We've been trying to get you on here for a while. Well, and, I, uh, I don't feel like I don't feel like Andre was stepping on me, but I see your I see why you would be worried about that because uh, Jay and I have trampled everyone except you. That's came on the bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had Yamanika on yet? No, we haven't. We haven't uh-huh. had her on the Zoom shows. I mean, we've had her on the show, but I'm saying like Zoom shows, we've trampled everyone except Dante. Yeah, really? I had a good, I had a ball with y'all. Linebacker, uh, you know, Yamanika is the linebacker of talking. You know, you yeah, ain't, you, she, you're she's not getting. She's a fullback, dude. She'll fucking yeah. open it up. Yeah. She's no joke, man. I'm, I had a ball, man. I had a ball on the show, too. Yeah, I'm like a. I try to be like a patient whiteout and just hold my fists. And then when someone needs me, I run my route. I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> we, I'm. The, I've been the. Uh, I've been. The, we were talking about that. I've been the black call for everybody for yeah. all the racist shit. This guy. I've been. I've been getting a lot of work. You get a lot of fucking white. Yeah, yeah. A lot of white calls. <laughs> um, my first one was a dude that's not even in entertainment. That's what mine was. I was like, I'm gonna get a guy that's fucking not even in comedy. Uh, my, you, my white guy call your black friend call yeah 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 <laughs> <Baltimore. Yeah. laughs> was he your boy like, yeah it was my boy i was like hey dude uh hey, hey. calling is part of the white contingency just <laughs> want to say uh there's a lot of cleanup we should have been doing and we're gonna get on <laughs> and and then he goes dude you're not the white guy i, I mean know. you're you're a white guy but yeah. you're not the guy we're talking about yeah, but black friends need a white guy that can speak speak white guy because it's like Klingon. It's like we. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he says he's gonna sell. He's gonna sell the apartment building from under you. Uh, I do that. Uh, no, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Andre, yeah. Have you gotten the call? Have you gotten any calls yet? Me? Yeah. Have you yeah. gotten a white guy call? I got a couple white guy calls, but um. It just blends together. Like, yeah, all right, you guilty. It's cool. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why you won't get one of your own judge shows, Andre. You're not going to be the next Judge Joe Brown. With that ad- <laughs> I'll be that- the illest judge ever. <laughs> going off of the heart. Oh, that open and shut shit would work, too, if you're like, you're guilty. All right, here's what that's you got to do. And then they're like, this guy fucking gets it. <laughs> like, the whole time I've been watching, Chad? Been blinking. Yeah, you're guilty, dude. Yeah. Come on. Where'd you, where'd you grow up? Inner, uh, inner, inner. Pennsylvania? Yeah, you're guilty. All right, you're guilty, guilty, dude. Definitely dude. Guilty. You got a, you, do you have a jet ski? You're yeah, guilty, any, dude. Come on. <laughs> any city any city that was violently taken from Native Americans. <laughs> everywhere I've lived. Guilty. Like, we're yeah, we're guilty. going to Lake Watanka. Yeah, you're oh, guilty, dude. He went to Camp Chief Uray. And they're like, take it. Yeah, <laughs> guilty. That's, that's double, dude. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. So y'all been trampling on people, really? No, nah, I mean, I we... Yeah, we joke around because I don't think the um, I don't think the bonfires eat like when it's just two friends, when it's just two people. I think the dynamic can be a little harder to crack into. But we know you. We both yeah, know yeah. you, Dante. Yeah, yeah. Had, you know, well, I think when we have some people on it, they're just we're just kind of like, what's up? And then they're like waiting to be interviewed. So then we're like, all right, well, we're just going to have a conversation. You should tag in whenever you feel like it. But our producer has been like, go ahead. I'm just go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah. Our producer's like, you got to get better at that, dude. You gotta get better at fucking tagging people in. Who, Christine? Tell her to no. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jacob, our producer Jacob. I know Jacob's a trip. He knew his cowboy boots that he spent forty dollars for. He was like, these are the most. Yeah, Jacob was like, these are the most I've ever spent on boots. Forty dollars. I'm like, well, 
Dude, that, my shoelaces are forty dollars. What the fuck is wrong with you? What's the most you've spent on boots, Dante? Oh boy, this is gonna hurt my soul 20, when I hear 20, this. Twenty-three hundred. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What kind of can you describe these what magical the boots? They made a fucking mermaid tail. What the? Yeah. Fuck? They're lizard, yeah, ostrich, and stingray. How can you confirm that though? I mean, I guess you have a guy you trust, but I, I bought them from Maury. I bought them from Maury. M a u r i. You know Maury? No, I don't Maury. Do I? no. Yo, his, no. those boots sound like a red. I don't Dead have enough too. project friends. Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was. That sounds like a Red Dead Redemption fucking thing that you have to go get Stingray skin. Fucking what? Th what three things was it? Stingray. It's, uh, Stingray, ostrich. lizard, lizard, and ostrich. Dude, that's hilarious. What part of the ostrich? The probably. Do you, you ever see ostrich boots? Your shit? <laughs> <laughs> On the you toe. got beak boots. Yeah, you they got go, beak dude, boots. They go, dude, though, your boots bug me. They both look like little mouths on the, on the end. <laughs> put the, I seen a dude put the little, the, you ever seen the, the alligator shoes where they put the alligator on the toe? Oh, my they God. They take the oh, alligator yeah, yeah, yeah. head, the head of the alligators on the toe. I seen that shit. That is very Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> that does have yeah. Breaking Bad yeah, written all over That it. is Breaking Bad, the two twins. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a button-up shirt with a lot of shit sewn on it. Do you still have <laughs> those boots? Made a lot of bad yeah, I got them. I put I took those boots I I sent so I saw the boots and then I I wanted to get them there, there was a pair of uh alligator um belly so the belly of the alligator has it's kind of looks square like it's like if you do the top it has the ridges yeah. but if you do the bottom the belly is kind of it's more conservative all I know is that from cartoons it's yellow that's my understanding. Is that accurate? This was cobalt blue, my friend. Oh no! Yeah, so uh, you know, the blue gator. That's fucking yeah, we have a blue gator. And then uh, they were like, "Well, we don't oh, have them in your size. We can make them, but you can, we can, you can pick." He says, "You can pick the skins." And so I was like, "Well, can I get this and this?" And they were like, "Yeah, you get whatever you want." So I picked this. So they're 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 lizard on the side. It's ostrich on the back, and then a strip of stingray down the down the center of the, the boot. Yeah, you one strip of stingray. One strip of stingray. You should, have, shit, you should have fucked with them and been like, and human. Get some human. <laughs> <laughs> I want the I inside of the would've... boots to be human skin. <laughs> I, I, I want the Scandinavian they, on the they're inside. They're lined, they're lined yeah. with dolphin. Yeah, I have them lined was... with dolphin. <laughs> yeah, dude, you can just get some weird shit in there. You go tarantula, like tarantula on the inside. And gypsy baby. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure you had a guy who's like, yeah, let me make a phone call. I could figure it out. Don't worry. They're, Don't like, worry. they're like crown chicken yeah. over there. Whatever you want, you can get it made. Oh, you got spaghetti? Hold on. Yeah. We can make for you. Crown we can fried make. <laughs> Always Shout trusted. Crown fried chicken. We can Give make for you. For the hood. It, you can't. You can get. You can get apple sticks. You ever had apple sticks? That shit over there give you diabetes too, nigga. They, fr they fry them probably. Yeah, apple sticks are fucking delicious. I've had most things fried or anything that could probably kill you sugar wise. I've, I yeah. think I've danced with delicious. It. It's delicious. Where you come I from? Where you from? Colorado. So I have carnival tastes. Uh, I I watch, you ever watch that carnival eat shit? Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I love that show. <laughs> carnival eats, fuck yeah, dude. They have all the good stuff on there. I, I'm I'm uh you know, I'm a diner carny. You're I'm a carny diners, <laughs> diners drivings and uh you know, I'm a guy fieri guy. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that carnival eats shit, they'll be like, yeah, we're gonna do a lamb patty, a beef patty, uh a pork patty, and then we're gonna we're gonna put cheese on it, some gouda, smoked gouda, um, rice krispies, and then we're gonna wrap it in a donut. How about that? And they're like, "This is great." I'm like, yeah. "Real quick though, sidebar: lamb patties, fucking fire." Yeah, dude, lamb patties are real good. Lamb way uh, better than the beef. I would even uh, in Colorado, they really love to suck themselves off and have bison. Patties. Yes, love I was a bison, just fucking dude. thinking that. That's bison good. burgers are good. And so are ostrich burgers. That was good too, that. and it's lean as fuck. Yeah, dude, it's fucking. Let's get away from these cows. Let's go after the bison and the ostriches. Let's start. I love a fucking bison. bite. Have you ever had uh, ostrich, Harry? I've had kangaroo, but I've I've had ostrich, oh. gator, and kangaroo. I've tried you had a roo? different. 
Where yeah, did you get had, Rue in Australia? <laughs> no, there was like some, there was some at some food truck festival that I was working a wrestling show at, which this really does sound white trash. I mean, dude, it's carnival. this is carnival day on Dante's show. Uh, <laughs> this was a I food a truck store. that was uh, selling exotic, like the whole, the whole festival was just based on food trucks, by the way. That was the festival and then rock uh. bands around it and wrestling. And they had like exotic meats and stuff. So I had to, I was like, I got to try I got to try the kangaroo. When the hell am I going to try kangaroo? Yeah. But it tasted like a burger. Like a so burger. I don't know. I'll never really know. I bet you there was a girl there with pink hair named Karen. He, At I some point. Several. Yeah. Ready to complain? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dante, you're thinking of her government name. Her probably <laughs> name was like Lilac. Lilac or something. Yeah. <laughs> I had a cousin named, uh, named uh, I had a, cu- a boy cousin named Sunshine. Oh man, I bet uh, he could fight. Yeah, he could. He could dump <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah, man, that's a boy. That's some boy. A boy named Sue kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, like, you, name your, you name your boy Sunshine. Get ready and for him to true. be able to fu- fucking throw. <laughs> his dude's sis- name Ashley Kabats. <laughs> yeah. his, his his sister's yeah. his sister was uh, understanding, and his her her and her sister was uh, heaven, which really that bitch was hell. Yeah, that's that an hell. annoying ass family. Yeah, dude, setting up a girl named Heaven to have a good life, real rough. That's a Just real rough What about the understanding? Yeah, understanding, yeah, understanding though, I feel like understanding dumb. Can't, can't take a government job. Can't well, work in anything. That bitch can never someone. not know something. <laughs> yeah, she can't be stupid. <laughs> and understand, she got murdered by a, <laughs> a, a drug <laughs> dealer boyfriend. <laughs> she, didn't under- <laughs> she didn't understand. <laughs> See, it was like a who's on first bit that went wrong. Yeah. <laughs> goes, I, I, I don't think I, I don't think you understand. She's like, I don't understand. <laughs> She's like, but I'm understanding. <laughs> what am I fucking who's understand? What the fuck is this? Yeah. Just, you fucking with me? Just got guns you pointed at me. <laughs> who's understand? Who am I going to fucking understand? <laughs> Let's put it down. I understand. Put it down. Who the fuck's understanding? Uh, I'm understanding. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, man, I think, yeah, you give your son a, uh, a name like that, he's yeah. going to be fucking tough, like Sue or Sunshine. or There was this kid on that rode my bus in seventh grade. His name was Mike Cunt. Oh, God. And he would be like, I'm Michael. I'm My, Michael. The, he's the only Michael. one who wants to go by Michael. Yeah, Everybody he was like, else? I'm Michael. And then everyone, would, you know, one of the other mean kids in the back would be like, his name is Mike. Hey, Mike Hunt. And he could fight like everybody. A, everybody. Just get off the bus. <laughs> he had this dirty ass Kansas City Chiefs the starter jacket. Oh, and, shit. Yeah. and that dude would start whooping ass. Always <laughs> yeah. in the winter. Yeah, I hear uh, Tracy Morgan talk about uh, he had a friend named Leroy. He's like, when you name your kid Leroy, you're dooming him to a life of lifting heavy boxes. Like, <laughs> there's never going to be a President Leroy. Never. Never. CEO Leroy. Yeah. He, he can't do that. Uh, what you call it? Remember, you remember Josh? Um, not Filipowski. What's the other Josh? He was writing for du- uh, um, uh, Dyn- Duck Dynasty. What? Did we Josh... Need- Oh yeah, he was writing for Duck Dynasty. Who do I know that wrote for Duck Dynasty? Uh, what the fuck is his last name now? I can't. I know Josh I have Lebelowitz? it. No, no, no. I, you, I, you know him too. I used to be at the Boston. I mean, it might have been after your time, though. I don't know. I, I might be. Yeah, you know, don't. Know how do you know Josh? Fucking with men with Ben Morrison. Yeah, I remember Ben, ben Morrison. Morrison. Sure, yeah, he was around that time. Around that time, uh, and Josh Filipowski used to do that shitty room, the beauty bar, remember, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I remember Josh Filipowski show, but uh, dude, get Josh high- Wade. Josh Wade. That might have been before both you know of our Josh? time. That's definitely yeah. before dance yeah. time. Yeah, I think in, that's in New York. Time. Yeah, definitely before yeah. dance in New York. But if but, he got that Duck yeah. Dynasty mo- money, good for him. Yeah, he did that. He he, he got milked that till the bills. end. I mean, he did that, Josh. Oh, God, I'm, said, I'm, dude, this is Zoom. This is Zoom. Welcome to <laughs> Zoom. Uh, yeah, they were selling like fucking duck whistles and shit at Walmart. Yeah. yeah. Dick Sporting Goods had lines for them, I think. Like they had they had a bag from that. Hats and then they had a clothing line too. And I heard the old dude ain't really that slow. Like he be faking. None of them are. They yeah, said none, of, none of them are. Yeah, there's a picture of all of them before Duck Dynasty with no beards and they're in like fucking sweater yeah. vests and shit. Like they were like rich, yeah. rich dudes who just had a good business. And then 
dressed and then it they up. Said, let's, do this. let's put a beard and a corn husk pipe on and we'll make some money, man. Fuck. Let's get nuts. You can't, have a jo- you can't have a Josh, a Grandpa Josh, though. You're like, Grandpa Josh. You can't hey, do yeah. that either. Josh? You, can't. you got a Joshua. You got to roll, roll the whole thing out. <laughs> yeah. Man, um, you, I know you, uh, you ever think about having kids? Because I know for a while, like, I mean, you, you were like, uh, you grew up with separated parents and shit. And your your upbringing was a little chaotic, but when you think about having kids, is it yay or nay, or what's for, what is it for you? Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's yes, but not now. Yeah, I don't know. It's like uh, I would definitely, I would definitely do it, but I just don't think I have a, you know, I I got a great girlfriend, but it's new, and I think how long you, know, you with your girl? Eight months. Oh, this is a new one. I was getting ready to ask you how was your girl, and then I was like, mm, maybe yeah. not. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> mm. Uh, I yeah, met no, his girl. She's a sweetie. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. yeah, she's great. She's great. And it's I think it would definitely in the future for sure. But I uh, yeah, I don't know when I, when someone has it ruled out. I don't never I don't never blame them. I'm never like, oh, you know, some people are just like, I ain't going to do that. Yeah. How do you feel? It's a lot of shitty, a lot of shitty people. I mean, for yeah. me, you know, I mean, how old are you now? Yeah. 37. So, I, you know, like my first I mean, you know, I had a I had a stepdaughter yeah. that I raised. But um, this is my first, my first kid, my first my kid, and um, at fifty three, the first kid. I mean, I feel like I'm so um, aware of what's going on. Like, there's yeah. no, I'm just not making mistakes. You know what I mean? Like, just dumb mistakes that you see people people make as parents. It's just really like. It's real stupid, like just common sense. You just don't have common sense. And as you get older, you just you just navigate life. Like when I was young, I would always be riding dirty. Yeah, I'd always have tickets, sky floor, worrying about then my car would get towed. And then I had to come up with three grand and fucking get my car out. And now you just you get older and you go, why am I riding dirt? Like I could just pay this off and not deal with the fucking ass kicking that's coming down the road. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I just I think, learned that from watching my uncle. Yeah, my bad. no, no, no. you were, yeah. I mean, yeah, you gotta you gotta watch that. I think like um, as you get older, like you're an older dad, so you're just calmer. You just you know yeah. yourself. I think that. Yeah, I can see it coming. I can see it coming. And my wife is young. My wife is young, and so she's she's really good with like, and she really loves the kid. Like she puts so much time and energy into the kid. He'll never be a comic. Never, ever, ever. He won't. He won't be funny at all because he's just so. You know, she's so in his face. But he he'll do stuff. He does stuff like now, like every once in a while, he'll try and kick me in the face. He'll put his <laughs> put his foot on my face, and I'll be like, "Yo, get off my face!" And she'll be like, she, "She's she's British, so she's like, Daddy, he's just playing." I'm like, "Nah, son." <laughs> He's trying to play me, yo. I, uh, I, I know what this is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that little baby's like, this old son of a bitch knows my game. Maybe if he, a younger man I could get in his head. Like, I feel like, like uh, when I was there, I watched him step on your sneakers on purpose. I felt does. like, yeah, it was a sign of disrespect. I don't give a fuck, about, but he'll do the, he will do the, he will do the kick me in the face, try to kick me in the face shit. Like, you know, just put his foot on my chin and just put, and I'll be like, yo, yo. I get real serious. Yo, yo, get off me. <laughs> <laughs> does he laugh at that? When you do that, does he like, you know, like joke around or is, it, or is the, or is it's, he like. No, nah, it's like, oh, oh, he not having it. <laughs> it's got to be funny to watch a baby come to that realization where you're like, oh, fuck, he's not playing around. Okay. Oh, oh, like, I'm like, no, my oh shit, I'm not that <laughs> yeah. cute. His, his <laughs> first words are going to be, yo, chill, chill, man. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. My bad. I just want to put my finger in your mouth. Chill out. <laughs> he does grab the earring a lot. You know. I mean, he'll, yeah, he'll reach. I almost grab grabbed. It. I almost yeah. reached for it the first time I met you. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, what are you? Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> but then he grabs, and I'll be like, yo, don't, yo, don't pull. I'll be like, yo, don't pull. And he'll yeah. be like. Okay, I'm gonna let go. Does he? Is he? How long does he sleep? Do you, are you getting sleep now? Yeah, yeah, he sleeps. Well, I mean, he slept when he when he came out the hospital. That's a that what a gr- what a good deal you got. Like four hours, five hours, and then if not, she's she got him. So I I, I don't think mm-hmm. I um 
I don't think I – let me see. I, the last – what was the last count how many diapers I changed? I don't think I, did, I changed 13 diapers. He's 10 months. I don't think I've changed more than 13 diapers. Because she's hold, just – Is he holding it She's just on it. No, she, she, she was. He's holding it, right? Yeah, but he, exactly. but he, 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 he's just so on it. Yeah. She's so on him, you know what I mean? Like, it's just – Whatever, and now now he's kind of potty. He's, he can't walk yet, but he's potty trained already. So he lets you wow. know when he's gonna go. Well, you know, all babies kind of let you know that mm, they be grinding and farting and shit, right? So yeah. it's kind of evident. It's <laughs> not like ever, it's cryptic, like Rosetta Stone. If you start farting and blowing up the pamper, did you, know. you uh, did you did you watch him when you when he first came home? Did you see that moment where he shit in his face, where he was like, oh, "Here it goes." Oh go. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can, yeah he, you can feel it, and then he grunts. So she, she yeah. came up with this whole thing where they they potty train the baby before they walk, which is weird. Which makes sense though, if you when you think about it, because like you 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 get have a baby, and then you 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 teach the baby to shit in the pamper, mm -hmm. and then you and then you have to to potty train them. You have to break them from the habit of them shitting in the pamper once you've taught them to shit in the pamper. So they have this thing called a top hat. It lo it literally looks like a pilgrim hat. You just sit it in between your legs, in between your legs, and you hold it with your knees, and you just sit him on it. When he gr grunts, you take the pamper, you sit him on it, he pop, he drops. You put the pamper. I haven't bought new pampers in, in, in maybe a month now. And is he just he, is he automatic in the top hat? Is he just dropping that shit when you pop he, him on there? Is he like son? He, I mean, he drops in dude, the be like a truck so, driver. Like I was like, I thought somebody oh, a truck driver shit. came in and shit it in the top hat. Like it's yep. a like a monster deuce. Sounds like dog food falling down a well. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's just it's just like yeah. he fucks and gets it, just dumps it, and then he giggles and laughs, and he's yeah. good. What are you worried about him having like a hat fetish when he grows up? Like he has to make, you know, he's like, I let me shit in this hat and then we're maybe, gonna fuck. Maybe, like, I, don't I, have, know. I have no clue where this is from. Pampers is expensive as fuck. I'm just yeah. happy that I don't have to buy no fucking pampers. It's just, you know, he white fucks up every once in a while, but not yeah. much, you know. Dan, what, what, what growing up is the thing that haunted you the most? Like if you're saying like worrying about fetishes, what do you oh, think like know, as man. a kid that messed you up the most? I, uh, I, for some reason, I was terrified, like, after I watched a horror movie, a couple horror movies when I was a kid, I was terrified to go piss. I used to do this as a bit, but it was a completely true thing. I used to be scared to go piss in my bathroom in this house we were renting, and then I just ended up pissing in the fucking vent in my room. Oh, like, <laughs> down over and over again? <laughs> like, a solid at least four to five times. Like, to the point where my dog was, like, looking at me, like, what are you doing? <laughs> shut up i was like six or seven and i was like huh? and i was just tinkling into the fucking heating vent and that's nice when it, when the heat comes on and marinates the fuff, uh dude we were renting we were renting that house and we got the fuck out of there <laughs> so somebody else had to deal with it someone else definitely was like why does this room smell like piss in the winter <laughs> just the sea train room yeah, yeah, it's just a fucking a sea train in july room just a <laughs> piss old room Damn! What I, happened to the other chick you were dating? What happened? Did it fall apart because of tra for because of uh, I don't know I comedy or what? I haven't had a serious one in a while. This is the first serious one for a while. Okay, uh, but yeah, I think uh, you know each into each relationship doesn't work for a reason. Sometimes just not there. Sometimes there's an age difference. Sometimes there's I don't know. The girl I'm dating now is awesome. I, I'd probably say it's the healthiest relationship I've been in. In what way? What do you mean? Just like we are, we like hanging out. Like I like hanging out with her all the time. Like I, w there's no way I'd be able to get through a quarantine. I think with like uh, a couple of my exes, and this one, it's like, oh yeah, this is great. We've been living together. Got a, got a dog. So it was, yeah. um, it was one of those things where you're like, oh yeah, this is, uh, this is working. This is just like I like hanging out with her. I like talking shit with her. She's, you know, fun, and that's. I know that like, you're like, you're supposed to be like that with everyone you date, but I feel like she's one of the first people I've dated that actually understands me, that knows that I'm weird, like lets me have my little weird shit, you know what I mean? And is yeah. it like, why are you doing that? She's like, oh yeah, you fucking weirdo. I know you're going to do that. And you're like, <laughs> right, thank right. you. Thank you for <laughs> noticing that. <laughs> but do you, I don't think, I don't think you, you, you know it. What I think you, you, it's more like you get to the point where you get older and you go, 
I, I, I just like I always say something. I always say is that I don't. I'm not. I don't do awkward. Yeah. Like I'm. I'm not. Like I'm gonna do what I do. And if you don't like it, it's cool that you don't like it. You can leave. Yeah. And <laughs> but this is, you know, and I'm not saying I'm not saying that in the context of that that I won't make a compromise. I'm just saying I'm at, I know who I am, what what my constitution is, and you just you you be yourself. Do you think that you made you kind of made excuses for your weirdness before, and then you just got to the point where you didn't mind, or did it just yeah, kind of come that a, way? I think it's a mixture of me. Like, I think when I was young in my 20s, when you're a young dude, I wanted like, I wanted that, like, uh, you know, the hot girl that like, I wanted everything you want the the all included package where you're like, I'm not going to fucking, I'm not going to settle for anything less. And then you start realizing you're like, well, all right, the people you meet, and I don't know, like how you allow yourself to be treated. I think when I was younger, I was just kind of like, I would put up with a lot of shit. I put up with a lot of she was because she was hot. Yeah, I just put up with a lot of shit from a hot girl. Just like, oh, yeah, I'll let you bully me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or it's like, I want to go over here now. And you're like, we're going to go over here now. And it's just like. <laughs> what was the worst situation where you're like, what the fuck am I doing? Dude, like, I know exactly what it was. I know fucking <laughs> exactly what it was, Harry. Was I was dating this girl who, uh, you know, I, I would say was out of my league. But that was at the time. Oh, we got we to gotta talk about that. But go ahead. But I, hold on. Let me. Okay. I, I dated that. Is At the time, I thought uh-huh. that shit. Now okay. I'm like. Like, that's why I think I'm in a different place now completely. Right, Cause, right, cause I right. got enough of like, oh, I know what I'm worth. Right, right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I, and God, they don't tell guys that ever. They never tell <laughs> guys, like, know your worth. They always, like, tell women, like, got to know your worth, date up. But guys, it's like, fucking get pussy. <laughs> don't <laughs> care about it. You got to be like, yeah, you got to worry about, you got to know what value you're bringing to it. And I definitely <laughs> yeah. know the value I was bringing to that relationship. So we're at Bonnaroo. And we take mushrooms. And like it was me, Big J, Ari, uh, Michelle Wolf, Mark Norman. It was all the people that were in the comedy tent that year. Right, right. And so we're at Bonnaroo and we get mushrooms. We eat them and we're on the side of the band. And fucking Big J is like, hey, we're going to go down to the fucking uh, sound tent. We're going to go to the sound tent and like, you know, watch the rest of the show, which is mm-hmm. fun. And, and uh, I was like, fuck yeah, 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 let's do that. And I just remember leaning over like, hey, we're going to go over with Jay to the sound tent or whatever. And she goes, I want to watch it from here. And I go, yeah, 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 but, you know, the whole group's, like, going down to the sound tent, and it'll be fun. Like, we'll watch it. And she's like, I want to watch it here. And I just remember that feeling of being like, okay, we're going to watch it here. And, like, <laughs> you saying it to Jay, and Jay was like, what? Come on. Come on. That's Jay, too. <laughs> yeah, Jay was like, come on. And then, finally, after that festival, I came back to New York, and I was like, that's when I had the, I was like, man, I should have gotten out of this a year ago. And it was, yeah. like, a lot of those instances of just being – you know, kind of having no say in the relationship. I think, yeah. there, I think there's a, I know a lot of dudes that are okay with just being like getting barked at and just being like, that's just uh-huh. kind of how it goes. Oh, yeah, they make excuses for, yeah. Mm-hmm. They'll go happy to wife, happy, happy wife, wife, happy life. They say that all the time. It's uh, you know, it's a, it's a, at weird a wedding thing. too, in the middle of a toast, happy wife, happy life. And everyone is like, sure. yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, oh, like, but it you can't. You, you were given a toast, and you're like, "Listen, make sure he's happy. Otherwise, you know, you can't be held responsible for uh, him giving you a shiner." Am I right? Yeah, toast. Yeah, yeah. Happy husband, no stitches. Yeah, All right. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a physically dominating thing. Yeah, I think it's. It took me a long time to be like, and it also took me fucking quitting drinking and getting into therapy. That it it took me a while to realize, like. Oh yeah, you you set the tone for how much you're valued in each relationship. Sure, sure, sure. Whether it be because they don't they don't know you, yeah. they don't know you. You know you. So when you're you're talking, when you're with them, spending time with them, you're teaching them how to treat you. You're telling them what your worth is. So if she goes, I want to watch you here, and you don't go, well, I'm going over to the tent. Yeah, I'll yeah. holla at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it is, it's a thing of, I think uh, a lot of comics too, we're really easy. Be, it's easier for us to be vulnerable than it is for us to be, for us to be like confident in our worth. I think we lean way more vulnerable than we do. Like, co- like just, I can, well, I can say a, a lot of things that are, you know, like deep issues with me. I feel like I have an easy uh-huh. time being like, yeah, and I'm broken because of this and this fucked up thing happened. I have an easier time doing that than I do being like, yeah, don't do that. Don't talk to me like that. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's because the material is generally kind of based on you being vulnerable. The the funniest stuff is failures and you yeah. admitting your flaws. So it's a weird sort of reward system where we get rewarded for the jokes and the material, which are based on your flaws. And then you kind of forget that that off the stage doesn't work and that just hurts you. So you don't have the confidence to know your value <laughs> when you're not. It's like it's like if you were like a stunt actor or whatever, and you're yeah. in action movies all the time. And you're like, yeah, I walk through fire all the time, and then you walk through fire in real life, and you're like, I'm fucking burnt. I'm <laughs> fucking burnt so bad. <laughs> it's all you right, but the value thing is the biggest thing. And what's what's interesting is like uh, like you you and Jay have been friends for like how many years now? Oh shit, like fifteen years. Like fifteen like, years, and so yeah. it's like when you think about your relationship, just the 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 loyalty between you guys, the, the, you know, just fun, enjoyable, the fact that you got each other's back and all of that stuff. We, you, you love that in a relationship. And I mean, we all have kind of relationships like that, that where you have good people around you and then you, you know how important that is to you. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, like if you and Jay weren't friends, that would be pretty fucked up. Like if the yeah. friendship ended. Yeah, so we, we, we value what the friendship is. And I, and I believe that Jay would say the same thing about you. Um, but we don't, the thing that we value most, we don't think is valuable. You know what I mean? Like you, yeah. if I used to always say, anytime I counsel guys and stuff, I go, what would it be like to have you as a best friend? If yeah. they could clone you and you could be you as a best friend. Fucking and they go, oh, that would that that would be <laughs> awesome. Like, you know, like I mean, I, I'm loyal and I'm kind, I'm generous, and you know what I'm saying. I'm not shady. I mean, you know, unless you're Wayne, then it's different. Yeah. <laughs> then you go, I, I wouldn't want that to happen. They, um, <laughs> Andre, Andre's thing is, what would you be like as a friend? And Andre's like, hi, I'd be hi. That'd be <laughs> so cool, dude. It'd be fucking. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. But it's 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 weird how we value those the, we value what we value to ourselves, and then yeah. when you come into relationships, then we start deciding what's important to the girl. Like I had a I had a guy that was counseling, and he was like, he, he from Puerto Rico. He called me from Puerto Rico, and he was like, oh, I met this girl. She's so pretty. <laughs> she's all that woman, and she, she she always flirt with me. She kissed me on my cheek and both cheeks, and this. And then I go, oh, well, then he goes, what should I do? I said, well. Don't you ask her out he goes oh but i don't have a car and i go she she came to walmart every day to see you she flirts with you and any time did she ever go listen i'm not kissing you on both your cheeks because you have you don't have a car he goes no yeah. i go so then why are you putting these constraints in in the in the in the equation that she hasn't even added i mean dude i used to do that i was the king of doing that i went to uh university of arizona and i just mm -hmm. i went on like loans and shit i went on my own dime and all the kids there were like rich kids from long island and san diego and all the girls there i never got laid in college because i was always like yeah well i don't have a range rover so you probably don't want to fuck <laughs> with and i never even gave it like a shot i wouldn't yeah. even like if I would have had that kind of confidence just to be like, oh, I know, I know my value. I was at fucking 19. I was living with a drug dealer and I was like, do you want free weed? I can get you free weed. If he goes in the other room, I can fucking run in his room and grab a handful of it out of a bag. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, I guess. <laughs> like, ah, ah. But, yeah, it's all the weed. Yeah. You wanna, and then not even ask to fuck him. If he comes in here with his gun, you got to act asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and surprisingly, that didn't work. Yeah, no, it never worked. But it, but that's like that kind of draws back to saying like uh, what it's like to be like a young father, because yeah. I, I dude, if you have a kid at nineteen, I didn't know myself at all. I barely know myself at thirty seven. Yeah, so it's, it's crazy to think of of having a kid at nineteen and being like, I got this. Yeah. Did you uh did you go to school? Did you go to college right after high school or no? Yeah, yeah, I went right in because I knew if I didn't, I wasn't gonna go. And my mom that's made it. My mom made a deal with me. She was like, just fucking get your degree. She's like, I don't give a fuck what you do in your life. Just get a degree so I can rub it in your dad's family's face. <laughs> but but even, that, even that now, it's like a thing with kids, especially with the COVID and all these kids that graduated 2020 and then, you know, they're not, you know, they were going to go away or this because I went away, but I went away just, I went away to get away. I just yeah. trying to get the fuck out of here. That was part. That's that's why I like I kind of 
got two birds with one stone or I just wanted to get out of Aurora. And so I was like, well, let me go, you know, I'll go to Arizona. But there's, I think there's hot girls there. I think they let me in with my shitty GPA. <laughs> and I went and I was like, fuck it. I can just go get a degree. I kind of just wanted to move out of Colorado. That was uh -huh. the thing. And it was yeah. good. I think because when I moved to Arizona to New York, it wasn't that big of a deal. I hated Arizona. So I was like, fuck, let me get that. Let me get the fuck out of here. Oh, when you went to Arizona, you didn't like it. Hey, fuck no. It was, uh. it was hot and everything was dead. Yeah. Everyone, everyone was mean. Everyone's got this fucking. I had, listen, I had a lot of good friends. I started, uh. I started comedy there. There was uh. like a lot of stuff that like I loved doing there. But yeah. when, when I moved there instantly, I was like, this is a mistake. <laughs> the second really? I got the Tucson, I was like, fuck, what did I do? Is it one of those things where you're like, I just don't want to be in this city? I don't want to spend the rest of my life here. You felt like it was a trap or what? What, like Colorado or Arizona? Or Arizona or both. Arizona, I knew was limited. The second I moved there, I was like, let me, and I wanted to, I was going to leave after a year at Arizona. I was like, I'm going to move to, I had friends living in Vegas. I had two friends living in Vegas. So I was like, fuck it, I'll move to Vegas and go to Henderson Community College. I don't give a fuck. And then I moved, my mom was like, oh, I, you know, are you going to quit? My mom like put it like that. And I was like, oh, fuck that. I'm not going to quit. But I knew it was a limited time. I was like, I don't right. want to live in Arizona. So right, right. that I didn't worry about. Colorado was a place that I worried about getting out of because it's such a fucking nice place to live that I think people, you get comfortable there. And you can just be like, yeah, I'm just going to live here the rest of my life, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. But I knew I wanted to be a comedian and I knew I probably couldn't do that from, you know, the way I wanted to do it from Colorado. It's it's weird that you know, like now I think if I, like I didn't I didn't finish my degree, but I didn't finish yeah. my degree because my whole point was getting away, was just getting away. I was just trying to get out from under my. I was really trying to get out from under my dad's shadow. Yeah. My dad did a lot of youth work, and he was like really dynamic personality and so it's everything like he he ran basketball tournaments and stuff which is why i never played basketball i mean that's why i ended up fencing because i didn't i didn't do anything that he did how did, uh, how did i uh, never know that you fenced you didn't know that i, I went on fenced? i went to new Pulse on a on a partial scholarship for fencing. do you think if shit went down and you grabbed a sword you could fuck shit up right now if it was a, a rapier, well, a rapier is, well, let me, I'm sorry. I mean, the rapier is, you ever see the one, the sword with the, um, uh, it's your foil there. Well, it's a foil, but the a rapier is, um, you ever see the, the one with all the little curly gold things yeah, around like a three it? Musket, like, like a three musketeer sword. Well, the three musketeer is really an epee it's with okay. the bell, the bell over top of the rapier is like the one, like, uh, like Zoro's. One. Zoro or uh, uh, Princess Bride. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, and the saber is custard, but saber is a is a is a, a, a it's a mounted weapon. Okay, yeah. So be you, on the horse. you you hacking off the horse, right? Yeah. So um, but a rapier has double sided blade and a point. But yeah, I could, I probably, yeah, I would fuck somebody up. Dude, that would be <laughs> fucking what's up if it's Dante <laughs> on the street and they're like. Can I help you? Like, sing. on guard. I go, I yeah, on guard. Yeah, on guard. Dante hitting you with an on guard, and you go, what? You go, I, I would love if, if Dante was still wearing the Zorro mask to hide his identity. Oh, okay. We're like, that was Dante, right? Yeah, yeah, I don't Dante. know. Yeah, the mask. He had a bone sticking out of his ear. He got into his Jeep with his face on the side of it. <laughs> he's, yeah. And he's 320. Yeah, he's, yeah, dude. <laughs> he's a guy with a that's, rapier at 320 killing people. Definitely you could Dante. Have, you could wield one of those fucking broadswords, though, Dante. You're big enough for a fucking, uh, you know, a Viking. Like a Viking yeah, but I can do a Viking shit, yeah. Yeah, it was um. It those swords were built. <laughs> those swords were built just to break bones. Those weren't hack, and, hack and break bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, you know, it was uh. But the rapier is kind of. You saw Game of Thrones, right? Yeah. So what was the little the chick? Um. Oh yeah, the point. Uh, needle. Arya Stark. Yeah, needle. Uh, Arya. Yeah, needle. That that and it's like you. It's so quick. Like the movements are so quick. Did you ever, since you were, did you fenced, did you ever think you were going to get into like knives? Did you ever think you were going to be like a knives expert? I'm, I'm pretty much a knife expert now. That's a, I mean, that's I, I'm, fucking, yeah. Yeah. yeah do, you like of, do you have a lot of, do you have a lot of like, uh, like a boot, a with a boot knife? knife? I have boot knives. I have <laughs> knives Badass. around my neck. I have a, I have a ankle holster. I, I have a, uh, 
I have a uh, titanium credit card with a knife edge that you oh looks. God. It just looks like a credit card that you can go in the club <laughs> and you do like gambit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dante's gambit. <laughs> I love knives, dude. I fucking love knives. Like a good throw, like knife. A good knife. Are you good at throwing knives? I'm decent. I'm decent at throwing knives. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm decent. I I can stick it in the in the in the in the in the tree. I think from, if I if I think if I could just do a somersault and then come out of it throwing it perfectly, I'd be, <laughs> yeah. happy. I'd be very yeah. happy with myself. Well, you got time you during the, the quarantine. Yeah. That's what you got to work on. That's what you, you got to work on. Full machete. Just have it. <laughs> yeah. I did. I did some fin Filipino martial arts, and they do a lot of knife knife work. Yeah. Yeah, I just did Dude, that I, for a while. I worked with uh, most of the people I worked with up in Alaska when I worked at a cannery were Filipino, and they fucking, yeah. you want to talk about guys that could work with knives, they were just like, <laughs> just fucking yeah. cut the fish and be like, fuck, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah they How'd you that. end up working for a cannery, Dan? Uh, my aunt lived up in Soldatna. She worked at a hospital, and she was, like, sick. So I went up there and moved up there, and then for the summer, just worked at a cannery on the dock crew with a bunch God, of damn. fucking... Hard-working Filipinos and a bunch of methed-out criminals from Seattle. <laughs> oh. How did that? How do you think that all of that stuff? Like, so you? I mean, because your dad wasn't around, right? Nah. No. When? When did he? When did he not be around? Uh, five. He took off. Five. He moved back to San Francisco, and then my mom and I were in Denver. You know, until I was eighteen. But then he was in San Francisco five, and then I'd see him like once a year for a couple years, and then just straight disappeared when I was ten. And then have, you, have you seen him since then? Since night, the fame night. and I saw him when I was twelve, and then he died when I was fourteen. Oh Damn. shit! Yeah, I, so I, it was. It's not so he could out. maintain the once a year commitment. He's like, that's yeah, too no. much, too rich Dude, for my year, blood. I can't. Just once a year, I once can't a be year, locked fuck. down once every three hundred sixty-five days. Dude, let a little guy get a fucking phone call every six months. Something yeah. check Jesus. the temperature, bud. Yeah, yeah her, that's. It, that's the thing. It's hard. You don't realize. I mean, I, what, what I'm really aware of with, with my son is that you 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 if you don't have your dad around, you don't have a model to be none a man. You have no idea. I mean, so many dudes I know none just don't have. They have no guideline at all. You know, nah, man. And it's like, um, you know, you're uh, you're around strong women, which is good because I think that inevitably yeah. made me made me choose. <laughs> strong partner but i think uh you know you not having a dad around people don't realize you get like you get like uh jealous see. Like, yeah. Yeah. you know Word. i like hated you, seeing like frail kids with dads yeah. trying to do like park shit yeah it'll be like weak nigga. yeah you, younger. when you see like weak kids with dads you're like dude fucking let me get a dad watch how fucking good <laughs> i'll be i'll be so strong if i had a dad and you're like dude i remember one time i went is I think it was one of the last times I saw him when I was ten, and I went and he's living in this small fucking town in California, and there was like these uh, we we're just playing basketball and there was like these kids at the basketball thing. He's like, you should go play basketball, and I was like, yeah, I was never really good at basketball. I was good at baseball. I was good at football. I was never really good at basketball. My dad's like, no, 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 you're tall and long. Go, go play basketball. So then my dad's just sitting there smoking cigarettes, shouting shit out for me to do, like, put your hands up. Put your hands up. You know what I mean? And I'm putting, he's like, now turn around. And I turn around and block the kid's shot. And I was like, oh shit. And my dad's <laughs> like, yeah, put your hands up. Like, and even, I just remember that fucking one moment. I was like, man, imagine if I had that all the time. <laughs> you'd, have, you'd, have, <laughs> you'd have been fucking uh, Larry Bird. Yeah. Have, it, was, it was fucking crazy. Cause I just yeah. remember, like, I remember being mad about that later in life, being like, man, one time you sat and watched me play basketball and made me better. And this motherfucker yeah. wasn't around at all. Yeah, it's fucked up. I had a, I had a dude I was talking to recently, and he, um, you know, his mom, he has a, he had, it was five kids, two, a set of twins that passed away, um, a, do, a, a sister and a brother, right? Yeah. And mom is, mom's in her 50s, late 50s, and this kid is 27, virgin, just you know, she so, and you know, and then I and now I gotta approach this in a in a way, but I still gotta be honest. And I'm like, yeah. look, and he's so it's it's five kids, three baby fathers, you know, and she's fifty, and he he's and then and then later on they get into the church, 
because she's trying to, you know, basically his mom had hold her life away and then Damn. she tried to wash all the hoe away in church, you know? Damn. And and now he, he's 27 years old. He's a virgin. He can't, he can't get laid. He never went to college. Didn't even think, you know how you say he went to college and just never even thought that he was worthy of, of uh, you know, of having a relationship. The mother then, uh, the daughter's father uh, was, a, I, the, the, she, she, I think she was in love with his father. Okay. And he left her because she was nuts. And so she hated his father. Cool. So she treated the other two kids better than she oh, treated him. Man, just, oh, it's just so, um, you know, just a uh, stink. Like, hey, you're like, hey, mom, c c did you make breakfast for me? And she's like, why don't you ask your fucking dad? And you're like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and then he and then he has this he has this amazing kind of image because he's you know honor your mother and father shit is going on in his head and I'm kind of like Doug I, you know I said look you you call me for honesty he goes yeah 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 I mean I'm I'm just trying to be like I go look your mom was a hoe yeah your mom was a hoe your mom had three different three different babies fathers you got three different kids they're not even that far apart two three years apart all of them and i go she was a hoe and then she when she realized that she was a hoe she figured she'd get in the church and wash all the sins away i said so she the first kid i think she had when she was like 18 19 and then moving on up and yeah. i go so she's not even emotionally capable of being a mother. You know, like she's on yeah. survival mode. They got no money. They're poor. So she's just surviving. So I go, look, I'm not saying your mom's a hoe because I want you to, to, to resent her, but, I, but you need to understand that somebody who's never made a good decision in relationships in their whole entire life doesn't get to judge you yeah. Judge you as a man. So she yeah. she says he's not a man and this and that and then fuck you and she treats him like shit. And I go, but she's not a she's not even the judge. Yeah, it's it's weird for there. It's like someone being on one of those Iron Chef things and you're like, this tastes like shit. And you're like, well, what do you do? And you're like, I don't do anything. I don't even <laughs> eat properly. Like, you're a fucking dickhead. <laughs> yeah, it's like what well, you know, Siskel and Ebert with yeah. missing your fucking bottom jaw. Shut up, nobody. Yeah. You never did a movie, you idiot. But they, so. That's got to be fucking. That's got to be debilitating because you yep, just have yep. you don't have a man around, and then you, the, the woman that is around is like you fucking suck, and your siblings are awesome because I like <laughs> their dad, and you're like, and he's got and he's got your vo like he's got a voice like yours. He's got the like that silky. So you just get a sense that the the dad was like this smooth motherfucker yeah, that yeah. didn't want to deal with her. So she hates. So she every time she looks at him, she sees him. She looks oh. at her son. She sees him, and she just fucking hates his guts but he you doesn't know, even discern it but you know how there's like citizen citizens arrest and you can like yeah. arrest people and shit there should be like uh you should be able to do that for your parents and therapy yeah, you should yeah. Be like, i'm call i'm calling the state you're fucking going to therapy lady you yeah. fucking suck because yeah. if she would have known that you know what i mean if you would have known That's that true. like if you would have known that you'd be like oh then i'm fuck there like if you can see the cord attaching it it's easier to pull the cord out where you're sure, like oh sure. you can't you can't and you need a that. service because you can't tell your parents that they fucking crazy you need yeah. somebody else to tell them well Yo, and then you hate your brothers and sisters because of the because you can't hate your parents so you hate your brothers and sisters because of the disparity of treatment i mean dude that's like uh that was like one of the craziest things about being an only child is you know my mom's super stressed out coming home freaked out and i had no clue that it had nothing to do with me that it was yeah. all the outside world but you don't have any siblings or anyone to be like yo is this shit crazy she was like, <laughs> just like cool this is what you like is. yo my man let me ask yeah. you something is this <laughs> normal? <laughs> That's why I like my mom's boyfriends. When people are like, you didn't like your mom's, you didn't hate your mom's boyfriends? I was like, why? That was how I checked the temperature. I'm like, hey, dude, is this shit fucking nuts? And he's like, yeah. and like, there yeah, was no yeah. ready. Yeah. You couldn't just Google like, yo, anybody else mom's bugging? Yeah, but even even, even even that even that you don't even see it because he was like, you know, my mom, my mom, he's talking about his mom, and then he's telling me. You know, five kids, three baby fathers. She's 50 years old. Then he's, you know, I try to talk to her, but she doesn't talk to me. She thinks she, you know, she thinks that everything, she was the greatest mom ever, which is always a problem. Whenever somebody thinks they're the greatest, they're yeah. usually the absolute worst. Yeah, yeah, they're usually garbage. And, I mean, good-looking dude, and she just destroyed this dude's self-esteem to the point. And so then the question is, how do you get 
you know, my, my, my dilemma was always like, how do you get a guy to re- first thing you got to make him understand that, that you got He's got to forgive his mom, yeah. but he's also got to not put any stake in what the fuck she's saying because she has, she doesn't know shit. Yeah. She don't know fucking. I go if she she's talking about you as a man. She's never been able to to pick a good man in her entire life. Yeah, and now she's a fifty something, fifty almost sixty year old woman who just I'm the best thing that ever happened. You're like, no, you're not. You're an awful bitch. You're awful. Yeah, and, <laughs> and then you create this animosity with the, you know. I went to one. I went to um like after my mom passed and the. the and I was way, uh, I went to therapy and it was, it's weird because, um, the therapy used to tell me to shut the fuck up. Like it was weird. He's like yeah. an 83 year old. Will you shut up and let me talk? And I was like, but you're wrong, dude. You're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, and it, but there was one thing that he said that I thought was, um, amazing. He said, you chilled. He says, your death should never cause animosity between your children. Yeah. You leaving, you should, you should have them so, evenly treated that they have no reason to resent each other because you've given them even and i mean you like some kids you definitely gonna like some kids more than more than because you know we all like what we like you know but you have to treat them equally as uh you know you have to treat them equally as um as as fair you gotta at least be fair yeah you know what i mean and if you're not fair, you create animosity between them, and then they don't have the ability to say my mom was a whore, and 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 then, and then she has she doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about, and and then you go your whole life thinking that you, something is wrong with you, and yeah. then I mean even to the point where she he was like uh, you know we would go school shopping and my brother would get Jordans and then I would get nothing, Jesus. and you're like what the fuck are you doing? That's got to be fucking brutal. Yeah, it's that it's all like causes I, a fight, yo. That's yeah. wild. Oh, I'll yeah, tell you yeah. what, I'd I'd get real good at fucking my brother up for his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. if I have That's what bullshit. Dude, and especially because like you're motivated because you know mom's on his side, so you're yeah. constantly in the rocky underdog. Where you're like, <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, yeah. hey, I talked to you about those shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them up in the back. I, I had the same thing with my with like my sisters. My mom, my mom and dad did that with my sisters. It just made me more self sustained, you know, because yeah. I couldn't really fuck them up because they were girls. Yeah. But but um. I did fuck their boyfriends up though. I did do that a lot. That's funny. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. But That's that was fine. my thing. You just find random excuses. Like, did you yeah. just drop that napkin? <laughs> did you? Did you did not you? call? My, did you not call her back last night? No. <laughs> no. Nice, <Yeah>. son. <laughs> I, <laughs> wow. that tagging them up. Oh, yeah. fuck you! I'll fuck your shit up. Yo, we should go. We should go to Gleason's and, and work out sometime. Yeah. 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 Light them motherfuckers up. Oh, That's the great. worst the worst damn man thanks for doing the show man i appreciate yeah. you bro thanks it's, for having me guys you always a bit yeah. anything you want to plug plug the bonfire and stuff yeah check the bonfire out monday through thursday 6 to 8 p.m on comedy central radio sirius xm 95 uh if you got hbo max go stream my hbo special son of a gary uh oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah 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 right and and billions how many episodes did you do on billions uh, we've done four and a half seasons. We made it through halfway through season five, and uh-huh. we had to stop recording. So, okay, seven out now of the new season, and then when this shit you know lifts up, we'll get nice. Back. Man, I appreciate you, bro. Thank yeah. you for doing it, Thank man. Thank you guys oh, for having sure. me, man. Good seeing you, love you, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna see yeah. you soon. I'll see you All guys right. soon. Take it easy. All, All right, you? uh, Harry, talk to me. Uh, you can uh, check out all my stuff on my social media at Harry Turjanian. And also check out the Man School 202 YouTube page. We're putting up all these episodes so you can see everything we're doing, all the visual jokes and stuff. And we got clips and classic episodes up there. So like, subscribe, and also check out Man School, uh, Real Man School Instagram, Real Man School 202. Uh, Dre, come on, talk to me. Yo, just Andre D. Thompson and everything between Spots Podcast. Yep, yep, that's it. Uh, mine is everything uh, the Dante Nero on Instagram, Dante, Don, everything else Dante Nero, you, YouTube, Twitter, uh, Facebook, all that stuff. Uh, don't forget the the podcast, the YouTube page. Check out the podcast and the you do on the YouTube pages episodes and new stuff up. Also, I've been working on my YouTube page, Dante Nero on the YouTube page. And if you need um, 
you need consultation, hit me on uh, DanteNero.com, click on consult, and uh, you can book some time with me. Uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. Yo, I appreciate y'all. If y'all like what y'all hear, please tell somebody, tell somebody. Yo, we are out.